Like many African countries, Uganda's healthcare system struggles to meet the medical needs of its people. In 2004, Uganda had only 2,209 doctors in the entire country, one for every 12,500 people. By comparison, the U.S. has one doctor for every 391 people. 86% of Uganda's people live in rural areas. Underdevelopment and ill-maintained infrastructure makes travel difficult and expensive, creating a serious barrier for rural people to access clinics and hospitals. In this case, a long boat ride for residents of Sugulu Island in Lake Victoria. Even if a patient can physically reach a health center, the chances are slim that a health professional is present, has the tools to properly diagnose the patient's condition, and the medicines and equipment needed for treatment. The obstacles to positive patient outcomes are formidable. Yeah, but again, another problem we, we, that we have is that the population is scattered. Mm -hmm. So you will meet some few people here, other people are in Uganda, other people are, uh, uh, are on another island, island. And again, the problem is you might treat somebody, but when the treatment hasn't worked well, maybe when there is a reinfection or the drug, the, 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 the person is resistant to that particular kind of drug, and you really want to really recross check and treat afresh. So, with the distance that you've seen, really it becomes hard. And for those who can afford, can really follow up on us at URHB. And for those who can't afford, they end up really, by the time we come back, when the disease has really grown beyond. Uganda Reproductive Health Bureau, a direct relief partner since 2003, is a local Ugandan organization with a strong network throughout three of Uganda's southern districts. With a dedicated staff of medical personnel, educators, and administrators, URHB exists to overcome these barriers to quality health care. Since 2003, Direct Relief has provided Uganda Reproductive Health Bureau with more than 355,000 courses of treatment of critically needed medicine worth nearly a million dollars. These donated medicines are placed directly in the hands of URHB's medical field staff to help treat women and children. And the donated medicine means that URHB can dedicate more of their scarce resources to outreach activities rather than the purchasing of medicines. URHB staff comes from the communities that they serve. Program and medical staff are not seen as outsiders but as part of the community and can be extremely effective in grassroots health education and in care. Services are provided at outreach posts and at three static clinic sites. Services include prenatal care, child immunizations, testing and treatment of HIV AIDS and other endemic diseases, family planning, and general health care. Some sites even include cooking classes to show mothers how to use local food combinations to prevent malnutrition in their children. URHB also holds classes in secondary schools to train students to be peer health educators in their villages. These peer health educators are critical to dispelling myths and misconceptions, especially about HIV AIDS. Each session prepares 40 to 50 students who then counsel fellow students at their schools on sexual and reproductive health issues. Uganda is heavily burdened by HIV AIDS. Almost 7% of adult Ugandans are estimated to be HIV positive. URHB alone has 7,000 patients on a waiting list for antiretroviral therapy, ART, which slows the virus's effect on the body. The actual number of patients needing treatment in these districts covered by URHB's programs is no doubt higher than 7,000. However, it costs $37 per patient for tests needed to initiate a patient on ART. This cost is prohibitive for a local organization serving a population with a high incidence of HIV but with no means to contribute to their cost of care. Social clubs like this one serve as support groups for patients with HIV AIDS. When someone in the group enters the critical stages of AIDS, members of the group often pool their money to send that member to the nearest district hospital where they can hopefully receive emergency treatment. In other cases, club members pool their money to help cover the cost of funerals for their members. Direct Relief is initiating a new program to supply antiretroviral drugs to URHB, enough for a thousand HIV-positive patients to be put on therapy per year. 
These antiretroviral drug donations will be part of a comprehensive program, including voluntary testing and counseling and home-based care and monitoring of patients on therapy. While the challenges facing healthcare in Uganda can be overwhelming, organizations like Uganda Reproductive Health Bureau provide a reason to hope for a better future, and Direct Relief is there to help ensure their success.